Hello, my dear boys. Hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome all of you to my online physics class and good morning everyone. Dear boys, nowadays we are solving board question MCQ solution okay so today our topic is ssc select board 2020 multiple choice question solution so my dear boys let's start our solution of ssc select board 2020 especially multiple choice question okay So, my dear boys, this is our SSC Select Board 2020 multiple choice question. Okay. The question number one is, which of the following names is considered as the founder of optics? Here, the answer is option C, Ibn al-Hayyum. Okay. Question number two. When a rod is placed between the jaws of a slight calipers, the main scale reading is found to be 0 0.05 meter. Here the main scale M is reading M is 0 0.05 meter. The vernier superimposition which is denoted by V is 6 and if the vernier constant is 0.1 millimeter here Vc is 0.01 millimeter what is the length of the rod after calculating we get the answer is option A 5.606 centimeter. Now, what is the solution? Solution. So, the solution of this question 2 is L equal to M plus V into VC. Here, the main scale reading is 0 0.05 plus Vernier superimposition 6 into Vernier constant. Here, Vernier constant is given in millimeter units so we need to convert it meter units so 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 and after calculating we get the length is 0 0.0506 meter okay so according to this condition our our answer is option a 5.06 centimeters okay. now question number three here the question is if an object is moving from rest with the uniform acceleration then velocity is the answer is proportional to the time okay s is proportional to t square okay question number four which force is an amazing force of physics? Here, the gravitational force is amazing force of physics. Okay. Question number five. Which one of the following is the dimension of work? Here, we know that the dimension of, of work is m l square t inverse 2. So, the answer is b m l square t inverse 2. Question number 6. Which are the renewable energy? Con uh, statement 1. Coal, natural gas, oil. Option 2. Light energy, wind energy, geothermal energy. And statement 3 ebb and flow of the wave of seas biomass 
in statement one natural gas and oil are not renewable so the answer is two and three so the answer is option c two and three question number seven what is the protons number of uranium 235 here the symbol of uranium is 235 92 35 uranium so from this symbol we see that the proton number is 92 okay so the answer will be option c 92 dear boys here we have given a statement a state steam velocity versus time graph now answer the question number eight and nine in question eight in which part of the graph velocity increases in proportion to time uh, here according to graph we see that at oa part the velocity is increasing so the answer is a part oa Question number 9. What is the maximum kinetic energy? We know that the kinetic energy is depends on the velocity. Where the velocity is maximum, then the kinetic energy will also be maximum. According to the figure, we see that the maximum velocity is 15 meter per second. So, the kinetic energy so the kinetic energy ek equal to half of mv square here the maximum velocity is 15 and mass of the body is 1500 so the answer is 1.69 into 10 to the power 5 joule according to this calculation we get that the answer is option c 1.69 into 10 to the power 5 joule now question number 10 the pressure of the liquid is proportional to its depth proportional to its area inversely proportional to density equal to acceleration due to gravity according to the formula of uh, pressure we know that p equal to h rho z so here we see that the pressure is proportional to the uh, length or depth of the vessel and so the answer is and the proportional to the density of the liquid so the answer is option a proportional to its depth okay question number 11 who is one of the following tests test is needed to diagnosis lung cancer here the option is answer is option d x-ray and ct scan question number Question number 12. If final length of a copper rod becomes 10.0167 meter for increasing temperature 100 degrees Celsius, then what was the initial length of copper rod? Here we have given that coefficient of linear expansion is alpha equal to 16.7 into 10 to the power minus 6 per kelvin okay here according to the stem uh, here we have given l value of l value of alpha and value of theta so the formula is l equal to l naught into 1 plus alpha T. Here the L equal to L divided by 1 plus alpha T or theta. 
So, putting the value of these parameters, we get the length is L0 equal to 10 meter. Converting into kilometer, we get 0 0.01 kilometer. Okay. So, the answer is option C 0 0.01 kilometer. Question number 13. Question number 13. In which medium the velocity of sound is highest? Here the option is, answer is option B, diamond. Question number 14. Which color of wavelength is the shortest? Answer is option D, blue. The, wave, the color of wavelength is short, um, the blue color wavelength is shortest okay question number 15 which one of the following properties for gamma rays here the answer is option a electromagnetic wave and massless Question number 16, we have given a mirror, concave mirror and the object is situated between uh, focus and pole. So uh, according to the above figure, the nature and position of the image, here we know that for this position, the nature of the image is virtual and magnified. Okay, question number 17, refractive index is a number and has no unit, yes, in vacuum with respect to other medium, the value of refractive is index more than 1. Here this statement is wrong because we know that the value of refractive index is less than 1. In vacuum, with respect to others medium, the value of refractive uh, index is less than 1. So, this statement is wrong. So, the answer is correct answer is option B, 1 and 3. Question number 18. Which is the cause of myopia here the answer is option a if the radius of the eyeball increases for any reason question number 19 which of the following contains free electron among the options the answer is option d aluminium question number 20 which is the thermometric property of matter here the answer is option b volume question number 21 which is the correct relation among the options the correct relation is in option c r equal to sigma l by a here sigma is our constant. Question number 22. If the focal length of convex lens is 6 cm and the object is kept 14 cm away from the optical center, what will be the position, size and nature of the image? According to this question the answer is option d between focal point and center of curvature real and short here we have given a steam a bulb has 100 watt 220 volt written on it question number 23 what is the resistance of the bulb here the resistance of bulb is R 
are equal to V square by P. Here the V is 220 volt and P is 100. So putting the value and calculating we get 4.84 into 10 square ohm. So the answer is option C 4.84 into 10 to the power 2 ohm. Question number 24. What is the value of the current uh, flowing through the bulb? So the answer is the explanation is here the flow of current I equal to P by V. So putting the value we get 0 0.455 ampere. So the correct answer is option A 0 0.455 ampere. Now question number 25. Here you see a transformer. Here input voltage is 220, uh, uh, 220 volt and output voltage is 22 volt. Here the primary voltage here we can see say that it is primary voltage 220 volt secondary voltage 22 volt primary current 0 0.5 ampere and the number of turns of secondary coil is 50 in the figure of transformer here statement 1 i is equal to 5 yes this is correct here the explanation is for option 1 i is equal to vp by vs into ip so putting the value we get 5 amperes here statement 2 np equal to 500 this statement is also correct because the np equal to 50 into 220 divided by 22 so we get the number of turns of primary coil is 500 Statement 3 is voltage increases. This statement is wrong because we get the number of turns in primary coil is 500 and secondary coil is 50. So it is a step down transformer. So we know that at a step down transformer the voltage is decreases. Okay. So statement 3 is wrong. So according to our discussion the answer is option A. 1 and 2 okay so this is all for today in our next lecture we will try to solve another board question especially multiple choice question until then thank you boys